Hey guys, it's Saga from Techworks, and this is my unboxing and overview of the Samsung Galaxy S8. This is the 64GB Midnight Black S8 and not the S8 Plus, as it felt a bit too big for me. On the box, the price is quoted at 62,600 rupees, but it's available at 57,900 rupees, which is the official price announced by Samsung. Now let's remove this sleeve, break the seal, and take a look at what do we get inside the box. The beautiful S8 is sitting right at the top, and as expected, it has already started to gather a few fingerprints. Let us keep it aside for the moment and take a look at other contents of the box. Below the phone is a SIM removal tool and leaflets containing warranty and regulatory information. Next we have a small USB Type-C to micro USB adapter if you want to use one of your old charging cables. After that we also get a USB OTG adapter via which you can attach a pen drive or a hard disk to the phone so you can transfer data on the go. Then we have the adaptive fast charger with a maximum power output of 15 watts. And finally we have the AKG branded earphones. I'm not too sure if they are as good as Samsung claims them to be. But let me use them for a few days and we will talk about it in the full review of this phone. Let us put all of this back in the box and take a look at the phone itself. Once you have removed all the protective plastic from around the phone, the S8 looks amazing. It is like no other phone that you have ever seen before. Now before we turn on that beautiful huge screen, let's take a look around the device. At the bottom, you get a 3.5mm headphone jack, USB Type-C port for charging and a single downward facing speaker. On the right side is the power button and the hybrid SIM tray can be found at the top. On the left side you have the volume up down button and a dedicated button for Samsung's new personal assistant Bixby below that. At the back we have the 12 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization, flash and heart rate sensor. And on the other side of the camera is the always on fingerprint sensor. Front of this phone is dominated by the 5.8 inch Quad HD Plus Super AMOLED display and it is protected by Gorilla Glass 5. Above that we have the earpiece, an all new 8 megapixel front facing camera with autofocus, proximity sensor and the iris scanner with Samsung debuted with the Note 7. Once the phone is turned on, you can't help but stare at the mesmerizing bezel-less infinity display. It is that beautiful. The curves around the edges are more subtle than those on the S7 Edge. And the S8 is also a lot narrower than the S7 Edge, which makes it fit and feel even better in your hand. This Samsung Galaxy S8 is actually manufactured in India and it comes with Exynos 8895 processor, Mali G71 GPU, 4GB of RAM and 64GB of built-in storage which you can expand by up to 256GB using a microSD card. This phone is packed with all the latest features. But is it enough to take on the likes of the iPhone 7 Plus or even the OnePlus 3T? This is something that I intend to find out in my future videos. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos. From what little time that I have spent with the S8, I am totally in love with the beauty of it and I am almost certain that this phone is going to replace the iPhone 7 Plus as my daily driver. There are a couple of things that I don't like about the S8. First is that you are almost forced to use a case with it to save it from all the fingerprints and smudges and also to add a bit of grip to it. And the second being the placement of the fingerprint sensor. By this time, you might already know about everyone being disappointed by this. Seriously, what was Samsung even thinking while placing it right next to the camera? Even on the S8, it is at an awkwardly high position for me to reach while holding the phone normally and I could only imagine the pain it must be on the S8 Plus. Alright guys, this has been my quick overview of the Samsung Galaxy S8. I will be using it for the next few weeks, testing out its camera, comparing it with other flagship devices and have a lot of video for you guys. That is it for this video guys. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel for more quality tech videos like these. This has been Saga and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.